All right, welcome back. Here we go. 722 this morning on a Saturday morning. March 1st is almost here. It's coming up this Thursday. But will it come in like a a lion? <laughs> or will it be a lamb? They don't all uh, come in the same way. And of course, we always talk about the Ides of March. Uh, but parents can use this time, kind of in between time, to get outside and teach their kids all about how the wind works. And one of my favorite uh, friends here on this program, Jan Doyle, is here. And she's going to talk about some of the different projects that we can get kids involved with. Now, you're with Classrooms. Classroom uh, Connections 365. 365. Very nice. Thanks for coming in this way. You Thank picked you for the having perfect me. day. I planned it that way. I really, I woke up and I thought, great, the wind. How about it? it? You must so, have connections. Yeah, I do. It was so windy, my curls came out. I see that. <laughs> Look, it was so windy, some of mine fell out. So we're, we're the right team. On. <laughs> well, what, what do you have here? You want to get kids involved at home, yes, right? Yes, you do. But you also want to make it inter interdisciplinary. Everything going on at the state capitol has to do with education right. this year. So when you talk about the winds are coming in, sure. you might want to mark that with a calendar, something on the calendar. And I have some other stickers back there. Oh, yeah, there. let's show some of these here. Yeah. And so winds have personality. And if it's not a lion, Maybe it's a turtle, maybe right. it's calm, maybe it's something else that's going on that um, the parents can identify with. Unless so you're like me and the forecast is wrong, it's a frown sometimes. <laughs> Could be. <laughs> so you want to have look at the personality right, of the wind. Right, which wind. you have a variety. That's a great and, idea. And it goes along with language. The other thing is parents and will have children notice that the worms are coming out. Right, and I've had a few people email me. It's already starting to happen because it's been so mild. It has, and you'll notice on the set, I have worms. Now, they might be gummy worms, but right. it's coming out of the soil. And then you can start a conversation with your child. If When you have worms, what comes close after it, a lot of the birds are coming back. Right. And you start noticing. You make and that connection. Kinda. Absolutely. And it's all about uh, exploring, inferring, predicting, uh, relating it to science. And maybe getting them off of some of the games sometimes. Oh, absolutely. You know, so they can kind of get outside and check out the surroundings. And at the very least you do with your child, Child, as you walk out and you have a conversation about the weather and the wind, right. you're developing skills within the child. Exactly. That's the very least. But you can do a craft project over here. I have some wind socks and oh, I have cool. some spirals, and you can make it out of uh, craft paper and make it yourself. Take a, a notebook or a file folder, okay. turn it that way, and and then you can make your own. Yeah, there you see. Now, now you're saying that we can make something like this, or you got this somewhere. Right? I did buy oh, that. Oh, okay. Shh. Okay. Shh. That's Simmons. Our yeah. Shh. That's our secret. <laughs> but this is just a circular thing okay. that you can make with a file folder. Oh, nice. And then you can use crepe paper and tie it on the bottom. Very, very easy. And very cool. And they can see that response when the weather changes, yes. which is pretty Yes, and you cool. want to start noticing what type of wind. Is it calm? Is right. it gusty? This morning, what direction? Excellent. That's yes, why you're I'm the learning. weather. <laughs> That's why you're the weather person. You know. But then yeah. you can also make turn it, it. There's a lot of books out there. This is a really cute book. It is it's, right. There is, and the title of that book is. Yeah, let's get it right here. here there's a hair in my dirt. Mm. Now it, it's playful. It's also adding to the interdisciplinary. And another favorite elementary school book. This is interesting, how huh? Eat, how to eat fried worms. Well, let's show that okay, one too, right there, if they want to take a look book. at that one. You know, and, and I imagine, you know, next time I could bring some fried worms. You know, I thought you did this morning. You had me a little <laughs> excited there. I thought I was like back in the Marine Corps here this morning. And then there's also, you can just have fun. Like, you were mesmerized. Oh, you know by what? That. I have to say, I love these things. Right? I get kind of lost in these sometimes. Do you yeah, know what I mean? I do. It's so beautiful. I, and there are a variety of these. Aaron's laughing at me over there, but these are very cool. And you could uh, talk about how the wind and impacts these things, and too. And it's capture. There's, there's cups that help capture the wind as it moves. Right. So there's different types of apparatus that you can use to study the wind. Very so cool. So when children go to school and they talk about this, they now have the background knowledge that they need. Now, one of my favorites prior to coming on... Yeah, what's this all about this now? Is a balloon. Now, oh. I've never seen one, but I imagine, Me <laughs> I imagine you could draw a face on it. But then this is how wind works. We could let it go. Wind works. Right. And then a favorite thing that I... I know you've been I, dying I, to do I this. Do, no? I, I have. Let, let's see how this works out. 
Oh, how cute, cool right you there. You know, yeah. you can just do all these fun things with wind. But did you know Shakespeare was involved with a wind? Really? Shakespeare wrote in the sonnet, As You Like It, uh -huh. he wrote that nothing, um, the wind can never be as bad as a man's ingratitude. Well, very nice. And so that's for older children. Okay. So you're making connections, you're making illusions, and then, and maybe you might even grow up to be a weatherman. How about that? <laughs> that sounded like a nice plan for me, Jen. Yes! Since five years young. <laughs> Jan, always a pleasure with Thank you, you here. Thank you so much. And uh, we're going to put your information and we want you to go to our website WTNH.com. You can get all the info there, right Jan? Yes, absolutely. Sounds good. Thanks again. We'll see you the next time. I want you to bring a snow demo. What do you Works think? We'll talk snow. Me. All right. Over to you, Eric.